Yo, it's Jacob. Today, we're going over how I got my internet service provider to pay me and have one of their C-suite people call me up and give me an apology. I know it sounds a lot more exciting than it actually is. It's really not that exciting. Essentially, uh, Charter, as you can see here, billed me for several months after I had already canceled over the phone. Originally when I canceled, I messaged them on chat in May and they said to call them. So I ended up calling them. They said I was canceled. Obviously they tried to sell me in more shit before then. And I told them, I think your service is trash because it is. I don't think it's a good business model or a moral one to only upgrade your infrastructure when competition is knocking at your door or has arrived. That's just wringing out every penny from all of your clients until the very last minute until you can't afford to because you can't compete anymore. Instead, they could have been upgrading infrastructure for literally a decade or more and have been at the forefront, but instead they sat back and, in my opinion, were unfairly profiteering off of the internet services they provided, which in modern day, I would consider a utility, so they shouldn't be doing that. But legislation has to catch up with that. But on top of that, some of the other practices of Charter are just despicable. They did this exact thing to my grandma, who is an 80-something-year-old lady who's, like, halfway in the grave. Nothing but love, Birdie. <laughs> truth is the truth, though. And if they're doing this so commonly and so brazenly, imagine how many young adults that are just starting off in life or old ones that are maybe just a little out of it because they're old and elderly and just confused are getting conned. There is no such thing as a moral billion-dollar company. Anyways, let's just go through the couple pages of exhibits here so this just shows the $49 a month I was paying this states on July 27th I had to reach out again and they noted that the services were shut off but the account was active they originally tried to con me on the phone by telling me they had no request of my previous cancellation request to which I told them I have the phone log and I have the chat log <clears throat> so after that, they kept telling and insisting, oh, you were signed up. Since we have no record of your cancellation attempt, you're liable for these bills. To which I just said, no, I'm not. And I'm very fluent at suing people in conciliations court. So if you want to take it there, I will gladly take it there. Because guess what? That might trigger a huge class or mass action lawsuit because in my opinion, it's pretty obvious they're doing this to multiple people, as I've heard multiple firsthand instances, incidents, or instances, I was trying to combine both words, excuse me, of this happening. <clears throat> so, yeah, the chat here, this is just the Charter public retention phone number, which is kind of stupid. You have to call the retention team to cancel. In the name right there, retention just means they're going to try to get you to not cancel. So yeah, they ended up giving me two months of a refund and then they threw in an extra month because of all the trouble. Whoa, whoa, an extra month. A multi-billion dollar corporation threw me a bone. I still hate you, Charter, and I still hate all of your corporate employees that are knowingly and immorally profiteering off of people's essential need for things like internet. So, yeah, moral of the story, this isn't a long video, but uh, if you are a victim to things like this, don't be afraid to stand up and assert your rights. The only way a company will stop doing this type of stuff is if enough people hold them accountable for it. And the other thing is, that if anyone from Charter sees this, genuinely, go fuck yourself with a rusty spoon and a cactus at the same time and then bathe in some lemon juice because I hate that I'm getting bright red envelopes that say 
attention, important. And it's literally just a fucking ad for your services. How many people are you preying upon by using such a blatant, fraudulent way of sending junk mail? You don't need to give people a heart attack and make them feel like they have to pay this bill or have to sign up for your services because it's urgent. That's not how you do business. We need to regulate the fuck out of these ISPs. Just whip the fuck out of them until they bend over backwards and give it all up to us. We're the reason you guys are rich, not the other way around. You need to bow and show some respect to your clientele. It's a fucking joke. No one should have to deal with the bullshit that Americans every day deal with that is internet service providers. In fact, Charter was one of the only internet service providers in my hometown for years because they basically had some form of like non-compete agreement with the city so that you couldn't get other services besides theirs. How is that legal? It shouldn't be. Fuck you. Fuck your monopolies. Fuck that ISPs just all buy each other up. People need to do more. Our legislators need to do more. Go call your legislators. Demand a constituent meeting. Tell them to hold ISPs accountable and maybe make some laws about sending fragrantly just bogus junk mail under the facade of it being some urgent bill. Like, what the fuck? I don't know. I could go on about this forever. I hate internet service providers. All of them. They all fucking suck. None of them are your friend. They reel you in. And then... Once you've switched over, they treat you like ass because they know you can. The citizens deserve better. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Peace.